Hi guys, welcome to this session on LibreOffice Calc. In this module, I want to show you how you can use group and outline. So on the screen, I've got an example of what I mean. This is the group and outline already set up. So basically what I can do is look at these little pluses in this margin area. When I click on that, it'll expand that group. Click on the minus, it will collapse that group. So the group I'm in at the moment is half completed. When it is completed, I would collapse that group and open the next one and continue. Another example is on example two, where you've got weekly sales in a shop. So these are the dates. Once that week's complete, you close that off, open the next week, close that off, and so on and so on until you get onto the current week. And then you, when you finish that, you close that off. And you can group like this with weeks, or you can go, if I go back on the other one, I've got an extra group there, look, which will just collapse the whole thing down. So that's now looking at the monthly totals. So when I click on the plus, so you've got different layers or levels inside of these ones. So it gives you both the options. Now across the top, you've got these numbers, one, two, three. If I click on number two, which is what it's on at the moment, it collapses everything down to this level. Number one would be the top level. So that's just the monthly totals in this example. And then number three would expand the whole list. So it's normally what you work on is two. And then you have the week, in this case, expanded that you are actually using. Now I've got accounts where I've done this in the past where I've got whole years collapsed. So you've got 10 years worth of data, but it's just 10 lines. The summary line, that's all that's shown. Now if we recreate this example on here, let's, um, we'll just do two weeks. So if I start typing in this line here, Monday, and then fill that down to Sunday, and then if I put WK1 for week one total, what I can then do is highlight the whole list, pull it down, and it will pick up week two there. Now in this area, down to here, I need to merge and center that. So if I click on merge and center, and in there I need to type week one and then I need to rotate that the other way up so if I go into format cells I can get onto alignment and put that at 270 degrees okay like so now I need to do the same for this one I'm going to clone it using the clone tool clone and then click into that cell and just type week two for that. So that's just a quicker way of doing that. Now across the top, I need the labels. So I'll just copy these labels. Copy like so, paste those in. And then I need the totals to add up whatever I put in there. So I'll just do the sum function and highlight the list that I want it to look at, which is that. And then pull that across to Matthew copy that list, paste it below for the next one, and then just check that that's, that formula is correct. So 96 to 102, 96 to 102 is correct. Press escape to get rid of the marching ants. Uh, these don't need to be formatted in pounds, but I do, I will format the whole thing with borders, uh, all borders, and I'll color in the rows, oops, color in the, the total rows so they can stand out a little bit better I'll go for green this time and then do the same for that one just green now the outline to collapse these out of the way what you need to do is highlight the rows that you want to hide so down to Sunday from Monday and then we're now going to get the tool to collapse this down so the data tab group, group and outline group there's a key command if you want to use the key command you get the group coming up there and then you do the same for the second one data group and outline group so now if I click on the minuses these both go down and you can just see the totals there and if I open one up then you start filling it in this is just ones and zeros if they're here or not so I'll put a zero down there another zero and then a couple of ones so you can see 
that this is adding up at the bottom there and that's all I want this to do. So that's just a quick example on that one. Let's do another one on practice one. So this is just uh, some figures that we want to say hide these two or the detail. So I've just got the titles and the totals. So again, I go to the data tab, group and outline group. And I can do the same on that one. Data group and then the same on that one. So I get the three collapsible bars down the left side and then the one two across the top but I can also do across the top so hiding January February March same thing though group and then I want to keep the quarter total so I can see that and then I do that one data group so now I've got numbers across the top where I can collapse that down to one and then that one to one so now I'll just get the quarter, quarter the total and the total figures. And then I can expand that either by the pluses or by the numbers, whichever way you want to do it. So that's basically just a very quick video on group and outline. So hopefully that was of use. Thank you for your time and I'll see you on the next one.